Audio Jungle. Hi everyone, this is Sir Manoj. Welcome to computer class. Today we'll discuss the program using input stream data. Let's start the class. The system provides user-friendly environments to input the data values in Java programming. This system uses a combination of two classes that is input stream reader and buffer reader. So we'll discuss the program using this method. So before we start the program, we should know about these two classes. So first, input stream reader class. The data given to the computer is converted into machine code that is binary form. This binary code needs to be transferred to the CPU in the form of a binary bit pattern. Then the buffer reader class. A computer system has a high speed def buffer device. Uh, which means a temporary storage device in between the unit and processor. So buffer allows storing of input streamline bits pattern. Then we'll discuss the syntax of input data values. How to accept integer value using input stream reader. So this is the syntax. Int num num equals to integer dot percent object to dot read line. Then to accept a decimal type value that is float type. So you have to declare the variable as float num num equals to float dot parse floats object two dot read line. This object two is the object of buffer reader class. Then how to accept double type value? Double num equals to double dot parse double object two dot read line. Understand? Next we'll discuss how to input character type value. So char n equals to char within bracket object dot read. Similarly to accept a string n equals to object two dot read line function symbol semicolon. These are the buffer reader functions. Or you can say input stream reader class functions. So we discuss how to input integer, float, double, character and string type value. Next, we'll discuss the steps to do the program using input stream reader class. First, you have to declare the package that is java.io by using the keyword import. So, this input stream reader buffer present inside the java.io package. Second point, click the class that is public class and give the class name. Then, declare the main method, a public study void main string args within bracket, then throws io exception where i o e uh, capital letter. Then declare the input stream reader class of the first object and then declare the buffer reader class with the second object. So you have to create two objects. One object is for input stream reader class and another object is for buffer reader class. Then declare the variables with suitable data type. Then declare the input methods of input stream reader class. Then write the logic of the program and at last display the results. So today we'll do the program using input stream reader. Here is the program. So to do the program using input stream reader, you have to input the package java.io because this input stream reader class and buffer reader both are present in this package that is import java.io dot star semicolon. So this is a program to find the area of circle using input stream reader. So type the package name then the class name then declare the main method public static void main string arcs throws io exception these two keywords you have to join at the end of the main method then declare two class as per the syntax input stream reader object one equals to new input stream reader system dot in then buffer reader object two equals to new buffer reader this object you have to write ob1 
See, there is no space in the input stream reader class. ISR capital. Here also ISR capital system dot in. Then buffer reader. Okay. So input stream reader and ob and buffer reader both class created. Then declare the variable double R A R. R for radius A R to store the circle of the area of the circle. Sorry. Now the message system dot out dot print enter the radius. R equals to double dot pass double object to dot read line. This buffer reader object only you have to use here. Okay, for input part this buffer reader object is important that only you have to use. Then the formula area equals to mat dot pi r into r. Mat dot pi means pi the value of pi. You can write three point one four or twenty two by seven. Also you can write mat dot pi. There is no method symbol after the mat dot pi. Then system dot dot println the area of circle is ar. Okay, so this is the program using input stream reader. Let's compile the program. No syntax error. Close. Right click on this uh, class. Void main. Okay. So you can see the terminal window. The message is message is enter the radius. So the radius I have entered two point three six. And it will display the long value. Okay, after decimal, so many uh, digits are there because I have taken area is a double. Okay. So again, you see the program. This is the input part, then the processing, then the output. So program using input stream reader, you have to use Java dot IO package, and the format you have to follow. Okay, and this is the homework for you doing input stream reader.